Martin. I'm very delighted to have you here on ZF's test track in Yevazen, Germany. So could you first introduce yourself, please? Yeah, thank you. It's also a pleasure for me to be here. So my name is Martin Mayer and I'm leading the global product segment EDAS and Electronics within CF Commercial Vehicle. So Martin, we all know that the latest version of the European General Safety Regulation makes the AEBS type advanced emergency braking system mandatory for new type approvals of commercial vehicles and passenger cars. However, city buses are excluded from this regulation. And why do city buses need a different safety approach? As you rightfully said, there is a regulation in place since many years concerning commercial vehicles, especially for heavy-duty trucks and as well bus coaches, but not for city buses. And there is a reason for it. Um, can you imagine in a city bus you are carrying standing and as well seating passengers unprotected without any seatbelt? Just imagine you would apply a standard emergency braking system, though those passengers could fall, this passenger could hit against any disturbance things and so on, and as well, that could be insured later on. And of course, this is something we definitely like to avoid. And therefore, standard AB, as it's mandatory for trucks, will not work in city bus applications. And to ensure the vehicle safety and the safety for passengers on a city bus, what do we do at ZF? Well, at CF, we are developing continuously different kinds of safety functionalities which are combined in between the braking system, the ADAS systems, suspension systems and so on. So we have a lot of experience on that one. So what we developed here to ensure the safety of passengers or at least improve is a so-called collision mitigation system, CTCMS for city buses. Uh, this helps us to find a good way in between safety for the passengers and as well still a safe way for the driver to react to any dangerous situation in front of the bus. Could you explain us how does this city bus collision medication system work? Well, we at ZF, we know very well how to combine different kinds of sensors, braking ECUs, um, as well ADAS ECUs and the sensors. So the system we are using here for this collision mitigation system for city buses is based on our so-called OnGuard Max system. That's a safety system which we have in zero production already with some coaches and heavy duty trucks uh, all over the world. The experience we have there, we are used as well to develop this new system. And the collision mitigation system for standing passengers and sitting passengers in a city bus use a different kind of philosophy behind this. So the braking cascade is split in two actions. Action number one is we are applying a kind of a jerk, a small braking jerk. Uh, as soon as we are detecting something in the front of the buses, for example, could be a pedestrian, could be a bicycle, could be as well another vehicle. So, this jerk is gives a, a warning to the passengers and as well to the bus driver to look for a safe position, right? They can grab the handhold or doing something else. Uh, after this jerk, we are applying a brake force, which is not too strong, but at least helps to reduce the speed of the bus. With this reduction, the speed of the bus and with this warning, the bus driver has an always the possibility to override the system and do his own action, or we bring this braking to the, almost to the end. But uh, in the end, it's a mitigation system, it's not a full braking system. And uh, it helps the bus driver to react in time, or maybe uh, if he not react in time, they have still the possibility later on to react on his own by applying a brake force, for example. What are the benefits of city bus DMS? Oh, well, there are a lot of benefits which we can offer to our customers here. Number one is we are able to supply such kind of systems for the public transport in the city areas, which helps again to decrease the safety issues on the public roads. Number two is, of course, we are able to give the driver some potential help in critical situations in the traffic in urban areas and so on. As well, we can use our experience, which we have collected over decades uh, with our AVS systems and heavy duty trucks and coach buses to implement such kind of systems into the city buses. And last but not least, it's an important step as well towards to autonomous driving. So thank you so much, Martin, for being here and uh, providing us so much insightful and important information and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet.